After getting used to the wide scope of movement required in operating an N3N, many students, when they switch to the SNJ, have a tendency to over control. So much so that in making a flipper turn, for instance, they will sometimes go clear over into an inverted position. If you ever find yourself in this position, roll out like this. Don't pull through. Why? Joe's student here will show you why. Joe's going to pull through from an inverted position just to see what happens. Here we go. Satisfied it isn't a good idea? Good. Because to begin with, you exceeded your 250 mile limit, which means you ran the risk of losing a wing. You blacked out, which isn't much fun. And certainly not a good idea. You ran the risk of wrinkling the wing of your plane. But the worst danger in such a maneuver, especially if you're not very high, is the thousand feet or more of altitude you lose. The only safe rule is never pull through on recovery. You roll out. That way you lose no altitude. That is one purpose of the slow roll. To get you out of the inverted position without pulling through. The other is simply that when you've learned to execute the slow roll perfectly, you proved yourself an extremely competent pilot. You begin the maneuver by bringing the nose up about 15 degrees above horizon. You do this simply to help yourself in keeping that nose from falling off, as it tends to do. To do a left slow roll, you put on left aileron, keeping it on throughout the maneuver. But as you roll over, your wings assume a vertical position where they no longer hold you up, so your nose wants to drop. To prevent this, you use high rudder. This keeps the nose up. As you go on around to the inverted position, your nose will again tend to drop, because in this position, your wings don't have the same lift as in the normal attitude. Hence, you ease the stick forward causing the elevators to hold your nose up. Continuing on around, you apply high rudder. Again, to keep the nose from dropping. Lots of it because your airspeed has decreased by now. And you keep it on while easing back on the stick as the plane comes around. Then ailerons and rudder are eased back to neutral, bringing her back to the normal attitude. Looks easy, doesn't it, Joe? Well, it's not. But let's try it anyway. First, plenty of altitude. Be sure the catch on your safety belt is fastened. It's easy to pull it loose with your sleeve, so check it before each stunt. Next, pick out something to aim at. That cloud yonder will do. All right, wings level. Turn and bank indicator at neutral. Drop your nose to pick up speed. You need 160. When you get it, bring your nose back up to 15 degrees above the horizon. Put on left aileron and hold it on throughout. And right rudder to keep that nose up. And hold it on till you're inverted. Stick forward, Joe. Stick forward, or your nose will drop. Sometimes you're a great disappointment to me, Joe. The object of the slow roll is to rotate the plane about an axis formed by drawing a straight line from your starting position to the object you aim at. 
That time, your axis looked like this. But why bother about keeping the axis straight? Here are two fighter planes simulating a dogfight. Plane A is in position for an overhead attack from the opposite direction. He's going to do a half roll and come down on the other plane's tail. Watch. During his half roll, he kept his nose up and traveled on a straight line, losing no altitude. But suppose he had done his slow roll like you did yours a moment ago. Like this. You see, he dropped his nose, lost altitude, and thus didn't have enough airspace to pull around for his attack. What's more, plane B now has the altitude advantage, and this may happen. Thus, unless you want to get caught behind the eight ball, you'd better learn to slow roll in a straight line. Look at the controls a minute, Joe. You start by bringing the nose up 15 degrees above the horizon. Then you give it left aileron to make it roll, and high rudder to keep the nose up. As you approach the inverted position, give it forward stick. Don't wait too long to put on forward stick. Don't ever let the nose drop. As you continue around from the inverted position, the opposite rudder becomes the high rudder. Use plenty of it, because by this time you've lost speed and the plane takes more controlling. As you come around to normal flying position, ease both stick and rudder back to neutral. Now, let's try it again. And watch that cloud we're aiming at. Ready? Nose up 15 degrees above the horizon. Left aileron and right rudder. As we approach the inverted position, ease the stick forward and neutralize the rudder. Pass the inverted position. Start putting on left rudder. More, Joe, more. That's called scooping out. You let your nose drop in the last quarter of the roll because you didn't use enough left rudder and you didn't ease back on the stick. Let's have one more try. Let's try it again and see if we can keep the nose trained directly on that cloud ahead. Good. There is no more important acrobatic maneuver than the slow roll. The pilot who can consistently do a good slow roll is well on his way to achieving complete control over his airplane.